fans who've been playing Super Mario 64 as part of the Super Mario 3D All-Stars collection on Nintendo Switch have noticed that something is... missing. In the original Mario 64, whenever Mario would defeat Bowser in a boss battle, he would shout, <coughs> So long, Bowser! If you thought anything different, you're wrong. This short vocal line is missing from 3D All-Stars, replaced with a simple bye bye Over the years, English-speaking fans have become quite attached to So long, Bowser! So why is the line missing from the game? The Super Mario Bros. series is interesting in that, despite being made by Japanese developers, it has always featured a lot of English text and dialogue. Even the very first Super Mario Bros. on the NES featured English text, even in its Japanese version. The Japanese edition of Super Mario 64 features English language clips from Charles Martinet, which are mostly similar to those found in the American release. The big difference is that the Japanese game contains no references to a character called Bowser, because in Japan, Mario's nemesis is instead called King Koopa. The version of Mario 64 contained within 3D All-Stars is based on a slightly updated Japanese edition of the game that released the year after the American release. Incidentally, this is why it's also impossible to pull off the backwards long jump, a useful speedrunning tool that exploits a glitch in the original version of the game. The missing dialogue line makes sense when considering that Bowser isn't actually Bowser in Japan, but this leads to a further question. Why did King Koopa's name change when the original Super Mario Bros. was localised for the West? According to Shigeru Miyamoto, Koopa was originally inspired by the Great Ox King in the classical Chinese story Journey to the West. Miyamoto drew the original box art for Super Mario Bros., which is why the character looks so different to his later model. It was only afterwards, when another artist, Yoichi Kotabe, was brought in to draw King Koopa, that he began to evolve. Developer Takashi Tezuka pointed out that the character looked more like a turtle than an ox, and, after some discussions, the team decided to draw King Koopa as a hybrid of the two ideas. The character was named after gukbap, a Korean dish made from rice and soup. That I've probably horribly mispronounced. In Japan, gukbap is pronounced kappa or koopa, and indeed, Japanese versions of Mario games used the English spelling K-U-P-P-A for several years. Obviously, this cultural context would be lost on Western players who'd never eaten gukbap, but even so, the decision to change King Koopa's name to Bowser is odd. After all, as previously mentioned, Super Mario Bros. was already in complete English when the game arrived at Nintendo of America. No localization was needed. In spite of this, Nintendo of America set about tweaking things, changing Princess Peach's name to Princess Toadstool, and renaming the Noko Noko enemies as Koopa Troopers. These changes make some degree of sense, as they give Peach a notable connection to the Toads, and similarly, connect King Koopa to his minions. To this day, though, it's not clear why Nintendo of America took King Koopa's name and applied it to the Noko Noko, and then replaced the name King Koopa with Bowser, ruining any sensible nominative link. While many of the odd localization decisions made for Super Mario Bros. have since been walked back, Bowser has kept his Western name for 35 years, long enough for people to note the disappearance of an awkward voice clip in Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Dr. Robotnik is probably very jealous.